Hey guys, we are in the basement and today, yes today guys, on this episode of John's Arcade. Well guys, we are going back to the garage. That's right, you know, this is the final part. That's right, the grand finale of the Nichi Butsu Crazy Climber. Now in this video, we're gonna address the control panel, namely, because um, right now it's got some black vinyl over it. We're gonna remove that vinyl and see what's underneath there, see if we can restore or preserve the original artwork. And then also I wanna replace those joysticks. And then also Adam's on the way. Yeah, Adam's gonna be joining us in this video. Uh, and, and then we'll come back down to the basement to view ma viewer mail and all that stuff. So anyway, uh, enough of that. Why don't we just go in the garage and let's get to work on the Nichi Butsu Crazy Climber. All right, guys, <laughs> we're in the garage. Now, I have to film this video in a certain way, okay? Because there's another grail in the garage that I'm not ready to show just yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna film all around this other grail, which is right now to the left of me, but you, you can't see it. I can see it, I'm actually touching it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want a little clue? We're gonna be talking about this in the next video. I'm actually waiting for Adam to come over here um, so we could do this this video. But let me see, I'm gonna go underneath. All right, we're under the grail. We're underneath the other grail, okay? I'm gonna come up here and we're gonna, that's the underside <laughs> of the other grail. So we'll be talking about that soon, but not now, okay? Let's see, maybe we can, I can show you the back of it. Let's see if I'm very careful here. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that soon. Don't worry. Next video. Maybe in a day or two, too. Um, okay, so I want to actually just wrap up this uh, crazy climber real quick. Um, I actually want to show you guys what I did off camera the other night. Like, uh, and by the way, this is a Nichi Butsu Crazy Climber, okay? Um, we've done a few videos on this already. Uh, I picked this up from a guy on Facebook. This is the Japanese version. It's super cool. It's, it's just like, it's badass, guys. Like, I love this thing, okay? Um, however, this one I have has some problems, okay? Um, and, and the biggest problem of all is the control panel. Now, when I got it, the whole thing was covered in black vinyl, and it's got these wrong joysticks, which are, which are HAP-style joysticks. Now, last week, like, uh, I don't know, Wednesday night or something, I, I came out here and I took my heat gun and I started seeing what would happen if I heated up the, the black vinyl that somebody put on here, okay? And I wanted to see if the original artwork was underneath here. Well, I, it was actually very successful. I was able to get the vinyl off. And I did it really slowly, and you could see here, the artwork did not come up with the vinyl. So what we're looking at here, I believe, is the original damage that was on this control panel. It looks like someone took a key to this, you can see like key marks, right? And it's got the Nichibutsu logo here. So what I wanna do in this video is I wanna remove all of this vinyl, okay? Now yes, I know this is not perfect. This is far from perfect. However, getting a new control panel, the proper control panel for this game is impossible. Impossible. So I have to just be thankful that I have what I have and what we're looking at right now. So I wanna get all this black vinyl out off. I wanna see what the condition of this control panel is. If it's like this throughout, I'm gonna live with it. I'm actually okay with it because you know what? It actually looks 20 times better than this stupid vinyl. I don't know why they did this. And also, I've been looking and looking at this, thinking about what, what happened here, because I could tell that these bolt holes for the joysticks are not square. Like this one here is a little bit higher than that one. I know what they did. So the original joysticks on here were like some Japanese micro switch, jo switch joysticks. There were no bolt holes on the top at all. There was none, okay? The joystick, <coughs> excuse me, were bolted to the bottom of the control panel. There were studs on the bottom of the control panel and they bolted the, the joysticks to it like that. 
And because these haps had a different bolt pattern than those original Japanese ones, someone decided to drill holes in here so they could put these haps in here, okay? So I don't like these haps. They look wrong, they feel wrong. Um, they're bat joysticks. The originals were, were black ball joysticks. Uh, the ones on the Nichibutsu cabinet, I believe, were completely unique to this game and are not the same as the Taito ones, which are, are already weird. So anyway, I went on the internet looking for basically Japanese style ball joysticks, okay, with micro switches, because that's what they were. They were Japanese ball sticks with micro switches, and it, they were very metal on metal kind of feeling, didn't really have the kind of like the rubber grommet-y feel that these have. So I went on Paradise Arcade's website and I found these. Now these are Sanwas, okay, these are Japanese. These are ball joysticks, okay, we're checking off our boxes, and they're micro switches. Now these are the SL, I believe it's the SLW, now forgive me here, I'm not like, I, I don't really speak Sanwa, <laughs> or the candy cab stuff, because these are kind of like candy cab joysticks. Um, these are considered to be the lower end ones. These of course being the JLW joysticks, everyone else seems to like the JLF joysticks, that's like the model number. However, the bolt pattern on the JLWs matches the HAP joysticks I already have, okay? So that's why I went with the JLWs. However, just playing around with these, I, I'm kind of hopeful here that these are going to be pretty good. Now they do have a restrictor on the back here. You could change from four to eight way. It's a plastic piece here. And if you remove these screws, you can rotate it, uh, uh, I guess 90 degrees. So right now it's got like this kind of rounded, rounded square pattern and that's the eight way. And if you rotate it this way, you can have a diamond pattern and it would become a four way joystick. I actually, so far, I'm impressed with these joysticks. I'm hopeful that these are going to work great in this game. And, of course, the bolt pattern matches. I don't need to add new holes or new studs in the back of the control panel. I can just bolt this thing right to it after we clean it up. So that's the hope. And I, and these are, I think, a lot closer than the original joystick. I mean, these are a lot closer to the original joysticks than those hat ball sticks. And then the other thing I picked up that I've decided not to use is this right here. Now, if you guys remember, in, in the, the previous videos I did, I discovered that I had a rare, undumped version of this game. The ROM version that's in my game is not in MAME. Well, it is now. Um, it's kind of cool, actually. So, the last couple of videos, I discovered that this version of my game, the music is different, and the ROM version is different, and it's not in MAME. So, because of that, I don't want to install the thing I bought. <laughs> I changed my mind. So I bought the high score save kit, and this is actually the version with the online uh, Ethernet jacks. So you can have an online leaderboard. But this version here on, on, on this chip, it replaces the ROMs on the CPU board. And if you guys saw the, those previous videos, I actually have two unique ROMs that were never dumped in MAME on my CPU board that changed the music in the game. So I can't use this because this is gonna basically put me back to the original version of the game. Um, the widely released version. I kinda wanna keep the original version in here because it's different and it's weird. Um, and I kinda like that and it's very unique. So we're not gonna use the high score save kit. I've done a video on this high score save kit before though. This is Yokin's uh, online high score save kit. Um, I did this for Donkey Kong. And if you go back at my old videos, you can see how to install this. It's all the same with the Z80 and the ethernet jack. Um, but we're, we're gonna not use this. I've, I've changed my mind. I, I just don't wanna undo the cool ROM thing that's going on here, so. <laughs> All right, so why don't we just get to work here. Um, so basically we gotta just remove this control panel and, and get the joysticks off so I can get the rest of the control panel off here. And you can see here, right here, it looks like they ground the old um, uh, studs that were underneath here that were the old joystick mounted. I, I know that's what happened for sure. And actually they, they kind of labeled the colors here, purple, blue, greens down here. Let's see. Uh, it says green, but it's wrong. Whatever. We'll 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 just kind of keep track of these wires. But let's come over here. We gotta take apart this joystick. Um, take apart the control panel. Remove the joysticks. Um, we're gonna need some pliers. Let me see if I can just break these these pliers here. Yeah. 
So we're gonna have to get some needle on those pliers because to remove these uh, these joysticks, these half style joysticks, or really any joystick, we gotta pull the, the C-clip on here so we can get the bat out. I'm actually super stoked to see how much of the original artwork is truly left. I mean, if it's all there but scratched up underneath that vinyl, I'm okay with that. We're gonna live with it. Um, because again, there's just, I mean, for one, this game is super rare, right? So I'm not messing with that, you know? I don't have a suitable replacement, so we're just gonna let it go. All right, so I'm gonna just kinda go through here. I'm gonna remove all these eight bolts, or nuts, rather, that are on these bolts. And then we'll get these stupid hap joysticks off of here. These are just barely tight. I'm just gonna break it with my pliers and then... Hmm. They got really long screws on here, so I, could, I couldn't use a socket set on here because it's just too deep. I would need like a mega deep socket set, and I don't think I have it for this size. All right, so we got all these nuts off of this side here. So let's go ahead and, and remove the little E-clip here. So I'm just gonna try to pop this off with my screwdriver. Okay, so now we should be able to go to the front here and just pull the stick out. And then this should just come off now. Hopefully. Boy, that one does not want to come off. So I think when we install our joysticks too, um, I want the dust washer underneath. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take a photo of the wiring just so I can uh, recreate it later or if I have any questions. So I'm gonna come in here and just take a photo of this. And then over here, and then here. Let's take a bunch of photos. This way, we have documentation. So this is black, black. <clears throat> All right. And then these buttons here. So we're gonna have to pull these off, like so. I'm just gonna pop the micro switches out of them, that way I don't have to disconnect the wires. I'm gonna look for cooler buttons for over here too. Oh, these ones actually light up, and this one does. <clears throat> so let's go ahead here. Oh, wait a second. <clears throat> That came off. <clears throat> so the buttons they put on here light up. How's this go? Like so. Wait a second. Just like that. All right, so let's get these out. So we can kind of see now where the old joysticks were and where the bolt holes, or the bolts were, okay? So look right here. 
See that? So the old joystick went right on here, and here's the bolt pattern for it. Dink, 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 dink. So someone just ground that right off, which is a real shame. That sucks, man. I, I would love to have the original joysticks, but we don't. So, all right, so I got that joystick off and the buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other joystick off camera. Be right back. All right, guys, I have the uh, joysticks off. So I'm gonna take my heat gun here, and I already did it on this side right here. And basically, I'm just gonna heat the heck out of it and then pull it off and use the pliers as needed because this gets really hot. And I'm trying to really use as much heat as I can because I don't want the, the decal to pull off uh, the artwork. So I really want to get this nice and squishy. But what happens is it gets so hot that it burns your hand. Um, we got it off now you can see obviously this is not amazing <laughs> but it's the original art it trashed um, and if you look here here's the, the the label we pulled off so really not a lot of the original art came up with the label some of it did okay obviously I did my best to prevent that but, you know, someone put a sticker on there and the sticker pulled some of the art off. But the heat, I think, definitely helped. Um, but some of the white came off in spots. Not a lot, actually. Um, I, I really did take my time. But right now, it's kind of all sticky. Now, over here, this is the, the, the part that I did off camera before the video. And I used this Goo Gone. And I just kind of cleaned up the adhesive. And when I did it, I was kind of making sure that that was not removing the art and it was not so I'm gonna go ahead and do that again and this seems to just attack the adhesive and not the art but I just definitely want to keep checking my paper towel to make sure we're not doing any damage to the art as we're trying to get the glue off of here and it doesn't seem to be the case at all it seems like it's just removing the art and not the ink I mean, it's removing the glue, not the ink. Yeah, I know, this is ugly, right? But I'm taking it. It's, it's definitely, I think, better than that stupid sticker that was on here. And when I put those sandwas on here, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to look really complete. Yes, I know, it's hideous, though. <laughs> Until I can find another original one, which might never happen, we're going to take this. At least we can kind of see the history of this now. Boy, this is totally not affecting the ink at all. I'm wondering if I should throw a coat of clear coat on here. I was thinking about that to kind of just preserve it. I don't think I'm going to. Seems to be removing the glue pretty nicely. Get another paper towel here.
Okay, so I'm gonna just get some Windex here. Um, I'll tell you that I tried a little bit of Mean Green before. Again, when I did this little section off camera, I used some Mean Green to kind of clean up the goo gone. And I did a little section, I looked at the paper towel and I saw some of the red color on it and I stopped and then I switched to Windex. Um, mean Green was a little too aggressive. Just putting the Windex on here just to kind of get the goo gone off. Huh, it's actually pretty good. Huh, you know what? I'll take that. I really will. Nichibutsu, Crazy Climber. You can see here it's an eight-way joystick. It's got eight arrows. I'd love to know the history of this and why someone decided to do what they did. <laughs> A lot of weird decisions were made with this game. You know, with from the EL wire to the vinyl over the original art to the holes that were drilled for the HAP joysticks. I wish um, none of those things happened. <laughs> But we're trying to undo as many as we can. Just gonna come back over it real, once more with some goo gone. It's not sticky though, but it seems like there might be some sticky residue on here still though. Up in here. I'm actually pretty grateful that what art I have is here. Windex and we're done. Okay, let's see, it's not sticky, I'm going to let this like just kind of like fully dry for like a few minutes and then we'll come back and we'll just kind of um, assess the, the situation here with the stickiness. I don't feel any stickiness though, but if I look at it at certain angles I can see some blotchiness and I don't know if that's just because it's wet or what, so I'm going to let it just dry, come back. All right, we're all dry here. Um, so we got to basically bolt these on here now. Um, I went to the hardware store and got some new uh, carriage bolts, mostly because I lost one of them. <laughs> I can't find it. Uh, and the ones I got at Ace are fine. And actually, they're shorter. It'll be easier for us to do this because the other ones are too long. I got three quarter inch, um, but they have, actually these don't have a maker's mark. Some of them did though. Interesting. Okay, so some of them had a maker's mark on the top and some don't. Actually only one doesn't. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I wanna do though is I'm gonna sand the tops of these. I I'm not gonna paint these, I don't think. Um, but I want to sand the maker's mark off. And let's see if we can do this with my drill. Right? So if we come in here with some sandpaper. 
and we can get rid of the maker's mark, which is basically those letters that are stamped. And we get some remnants of it. There, it's gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all eight. Let me make sure these are long enough too. So I'm, th I'm thinking about this dust washer also on here and uh, I don't want it above the control panel because it's just not right. And I don't know if there's enough space below the control panel for it. So we just might skip it all together. All right, so let's get this clip out of here. Okay, so that's out. Ah, shoot, I just got hit in the eye. <laughs> Oh my god, the spring just flew out of there. Holy cow, that hurt. So where did the rubber piece go? Oh my god. So, <laughs> hang on, let me find it. Okay, I found it. <laughs> oh my god, my eye is killed. By the way, my eye already was irritated. It's been red the last few days. And that thing hit me square in that eye, and it's killing now. All right, so lesson learned here. <laughs> when you remove the E-clip, there's a spring, okay? This is spring-loaded, and this thing will launch it in your eye. Holy cow, that hurt. All right, so you can see this is just all metal bushing here with a plastic uh, kind of base here, but it's kind of like metal on metal, um, similar to Donkey Kong. But there is some plastic in there. And there's a little... Oh, jeez, my eye is killing me. All right, so we're not going to use the dust washer. Oh, my God, you can't even get it off. Oh, I see. And by the way, when you buy these joysticks, the balls are sold separately. Um, I think they have bat top and different colored balls and all that. So this is made to be kind of customized. And this is kind of a problem though, because in arcade, wouldn't someone just steal the balls? I, I don't know. All right, so let's see um, if the three quarter inch carriage bolts are gonna work out okay. These really should be painted black, shouldn't they? Let's see, we'll see how it looks. Okay, yeah, the three quarter inch are perfect. And that all lines up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sand the heads of all these and come right back. And then we'll see how it looks on there. Okay, so I think we're gonna spray paint these really quick. So I just stuck them all in this box here. And we're gonna hit this with a couple coats of black paint because I, I think the silver is just gonna stand out. And then I also put in these bolts here. These are uh, to mount the control panel. So I'm just gonna hit these with a couple coats and we'll let it dry for about a half hour or so until it's dry to the touch. All right, so while that's drying, and I'll come back here and do a second coat. Okay, so while that's drying, why don't we do some other stuff? So let's go over here. Um, now I picked up a decal that goes on the bottom, okay? Because originally it had the Nichibutsu like owl logo on the bottom and Brian Jones proc at Game Stencil sells this. So I want to stick this on the bottom here. Now I've seen this game pictures on the internet both ways. Some had the owl like right here with the crazy climber in the middle, and I've also seen it with the owl on the bottom and the crazy climber above. So, but I do believe that that's a reproduction crazy climber sticker that someone stuck on there. So I'm not sure what the original factory position was with this game, but because that crazy climber logo is below the coin door, we're gonna have to put the owl below that. Um, and again, I've seen it both ways. I've seen it where the owl is right here and the crazy climber's on here. And I've also seen it with the crazy climber here and the owl here. So, but let's clean this up. And we're gonna also drill this coin door and see what's in here. But I just wanna just clean this up here a little bit. And we'll stick the sticker on. So there's some scuff marks on here. And then this wood on the bottom, I don't know. We might, maybe we'll glue that real quick. 
All right. So I kind of want to just center it right in here, like put it like right here in the center. Um, so let's grab a ruler and we'll kind of just mark off um, where the center line is. And then we'll just kind of stick it on there and that's about it. You see if I have a pencil. So the center, so this piece of wood is, I should probably grab my tape measure. Let's see. This is 22 inches. So 11 inches is our center line. Sorry here. So our center line is right here, like so. And then vertically, this is uh, right just about a little bit shy of 12. So we're gonna go just a little bit shy of six here. <clears throat> so our center's right about there. Okay, so we got that all marked off. So let's kind of see how this sticker... <clears throat> so we want to kind of center it vertically, like right about here. And see the center point of this sticker is right about here. Oh, look, Adam's here. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. All right, guys, Adam's here. What's up, Johnny? So, Adam, I have to carefully film okay. around the grail. Which is right here. It's right there. <laughs> Very cool. Because Adam and I are about to do another video right. that involves this thing. It's yeah. right here. What do you think? Is it, you like it? It's sick. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm kind of finishing up this crazy climber. Okay. Um... And what I just did was I removed, so when I got this thing, yeah. um, someone put like a black piece of vinyl over this right, right. and put hap joysticks, yeah. which are wrong. Right. So I removed the black vinyl and I discovered the original art was there, it's still there. but trashed. Yeah, yeah. But you know what, I'm gonna take it um, because it's super rare and, and, and impossible to replace. And this looks a lot better than the black vinyl. Um, is there? A, can you get a replacement CPU for this? Or no? Well, the thing is, it, this is silk screen directly on the metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a sticker. Right, right. Um, and no, no one has reproduced the artwork. Okay. So it would be kind of up to me to scan this, vectorize it, and yeah. then maybe have someone print a sticker. Sure. But I'm kind of now, in my old age here. <laughs> yeah. I'm becoming a bit of a purist right. about <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Like. This is original. Yeah. This is the history. Yeah. This is not a reproduction. Yep. If someone else wants to butcher this later, mm -hmm. I kind of would rather them do it than <laughs> <Right>. me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, this is this is an '80s yeah. arcade game that went yeah. through hell, right? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and someone with some keys right. to a 1982 Chevy yeah. Impala station wagon right. <laughs> maybe did those marks right there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. But what happened here is someone drilled new holes mm. because the original um, joysticks, there were studs on the back oh, okay. that didn't go through. Yep. And so they drilled new holes to fit the half joysticks. So the studs are gone, they've ground them off? Yeah, they grounded them off. Oh. Um, so I got some uh, Japanese uh, micro switch joysticks, uh, which I'm trying to find one to show you. So I got some Japanese micro switch joysticks that have the same bolt pattern as the haps. Okay. Because the damage is already done. Yeah. So I'm going to use these. Okay. And these are a little bit closer to the they originals. Look more like the originals. Yeah, the originals were ball joysticks. Yep. They are oddball, one of a kind Japanese yep. micro switch joysticks. Okay. But they were basically just ball joysticks with micro switches. Right. Made in Japan. Sure. And they're they're like literally one of a kind for this game. Yeah. And this version of the game because right. there was Taito ones too. So. Yep. But I don't know, you want to help me just finish this real yeah, quick? Um, so I, I'm about to put this sticker on. Where does this go? That goes down here. Okay. And I just marked the center point. The center point right is, right, is right here. Yep. And I kind of marked the center point of that. Okay. So I don't know, we can kind of... Just eyeball it? Just with this center line, yeah, yeah, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I guess we'll just go for it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to worry about how centered it is vertically? Uh, I don't know. 
I mean, you. I, I think if you see where that is as you put it on, and yeah. make sure it lines up with that, I think you'll be pretty, pretty in good shape. All right, so we're just gonna kind of go for it here. Let me just kind of zoom in. And this is the kind of thing too that you know, in the factory, I bet you they were eyeballing this stuff all yeah, day long. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks like the center. How do we look vertically though? A little high, maybe. A little high? high? Maybe. What's the, where's the center? Yeah, you're a smidge high. Yeah, you're like a quarter inch high. <sighs> right there you go. Does that look like it lines up? I think it's better, yeah. Are we square? Straight? I think so. Uh, you're, you're standing right in front of it. You got a better eye than I do. All right. Well, it's on. There you go. There's no turning back now. <laughs> This is the same font, you know, I was watching your video. Of Nintendo. The same Nintendo font, yeah. Yeah, it is. I think these guys were kind of Nintendo-ish. Yeah. Who knows, maybe they're down the street from each other. Right. <laughs> that looks pretty cool, though. Yep. Is it crooked? And is this new, too? <laughs> no, that was on there when I got it. Okay. I believe it to be reproduction, though. Yeah. Um, it just feels like it has digital, it's digitally printed. It's a, oh, it's white? It, I mean, it's too clean. I think yeah. The original. Well, I went on eBay, someone's selling these stickers. Okay, yeah, so I'm right. guessing that that's yeah. where those came from. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to leave it alone. Sure. And then I, I was saying earlier in the video that um, I've seen pictures of this cabinet online. Some of them have this down here and this uh, up here okay. and vice versa. Yeah. So I'm just going to obviously roll with this. Yeah, because it's already there. It's yeah. already there. Sure. Um, okay, so the one thing I want to do while, and, and by the way, before you got here, I just painted uh, the carriage bolts for, I'm just going to throw another, for the uh, joysticks. So I'm going to throw another coat of paint on them, and then when they're dry-ish to the touch. Um, but I never opened up this, Ooh, and I kind of want to drill that's this. right, yeah, mystery. Isn't it? <laughs> so should we get a drill bit and drill that out? Yeah, totally. We should see what's in there, right? Yeah. All right, let me get a drill bit. All right, Adam, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drill this lock, and then we'll put a new lock in. Uh, I think my battery, battery's low. All right, I got another battery. By the way, the game's off. Oh, good. <laughs> You get a lot of flack about that? Yeah, um, every, everyone <laughs> sees everything, Adam. And, and everyone <laughs> interprets everything into whatever they want to interpret into, right? <laughs> because, like, I drilled the lock on the turtle's pinball yeah. and I left it on. And everyone, everyone's, like, freaking out. And the metal shavings are on the outside. Right. <laughs> Not the inside. This guy <laughs> <into> a super <laughs> <weird>. Right. <laughs> Boy, this is in here. Huh? Sometimes it doesn't make sense. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Just... You don't think that they screwed this down, do you? Is this not original, this trim? I don't know. You have pictures we can kind of... It compare? looks... You don't think this is what's holding it on, do you? No. Well, this thing should, I don't know, you should be able to turn that, even with a screwdriver, I would think. You, well, we, you took out the whole center, so. What's that? You took out the whole center. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't go all the way back, so the screw's still in there holding the uh, the latch thing, right? Yeah. So maybe we need, need to go just to a slightly larger bit. Mm -hmm. I think, is that metal trim piece original? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't, I don't think um, I don't think it's holding it on. You can see here the edge of the uh, door. So this is a hinge door. It looks like right. There's a hinge here, and I think this is uh, just. A tr into this. this is just a trim piece to cover the exactly. gap. That's exactly what it is. Give it a running start before you. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh. Ooh, look at all the stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's exactly nothing in here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> there's two coin counters. That's it. One for each coin mech? Mm. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. So let's see. So originally there was some kind of a coin bucket in here. Right. That's obviously not here. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then we got two coin counters. And you can see when you drill a lock, the metal shavings don't go inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 47, apparently. What's that? Number 47. Oh, yeah. Whatever that means. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to get in our lock here, and then we'll just replace that. Cool. So let me grab a lock and... And then we'll have, a, we'll have a keyed lock for that front door. It's kind of cool, though, that yeah. big open, that little area there. You could put something in there. Yeah. It's a huge area. <clears throat> All right, Adam, I'm, I'm going to throw another lock on here. All right. And I guess we could put one in the coin door while we're at it. So we're probably going to have to recycle. Nah, eh, maybe not. And your MO is you, you have one key that fits everything, right? In your yeah. Pool? Yeah. Yeah, I, I typically. Um, That's the way it the, goes. The lock, though, that I use in the basement, I can't seem to find that key anymore. Oh. Like, I, I used to buy them in Hap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they don't, ha every time I go there lately, I, I get the Illinois double bitted lock. Yep. Which is not what I'm putting on here right now. Okay. Because um, I don't have any of those locks right now. And uh, so I buy the Illinois double bitted lock, which I. Which I like. I like how they look, which is stupid, but... <laughs> so that's where it's got ridges on both sides? Is that how it works? Yeah, the okay. double bitted lock, is, yeah, it's a key with teeth on two sides. Okay. This lock here is a cheapo, like, twisted quarter, right. $3 one. Sure. And those double bitted ones are like five or six. Okay. Like, double the price. Boy, that thing's in there. Well, it's thread. I think it's threaded. No, I don't think so. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, I see threads all on this side. See? Well, the, all the locks have threads on them. You have to unscrew this. Now? Oh, just for that, just for the nut. I see. Right. I got gotcha. you. Uh, it looks like they look at they jammed it in there the wrong way. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me get my channel locks, and we got to twist that. Right. Because the hole is is kind of um. Well, it's shaped to the shape of the lock. Yeah. There. There you go. So they, they kind of put the lock through and then twisted it, which is really weird. But these locks here are the cheapo. Right. Like, whatever. Yep. So I had some extras in my bag. I'm just going to use this. Yeah, I'm going to grab the needle nose. <clears throat> okay. And then what I usually do is, um, with the key out, you know, put this in the lock position. Right. And then that way you know you're doing it right. Now the one that was in here originally, was it longer? That looks to be the same to me. Okay. All right, so let's, let me see which key it is. Oh, I think it was longer. Here, here's the one that was on there. We'll just reuse it. So the one that was on there was a little bit longer. stuff in here. I was gonna say, there's a lot of area in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't been downstairs in a while, so what games have left your rotation to make room for some of these new... Um, well, I sold Tempest. Okay. I sold Tempest mostly to pay for the game behind me. Yeah. <laughs> I also sold my Donkey Kong Three and my right. and the Xenophobe. Okay. Those were in in uh, in the hangar in Westfield. Right. And I sold those to again fund the game behind me. Yeah. And also help with this thing. So that's really the big big thing is um, the Tempest left, and I don't really miss it to be honest. Did it get much play? Nah. No. 
the game behind me, I'm going to play a lot more. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Uh, there's no question about it. It'll get played like... There, that's, there that's perfect. Nice. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead, Adam, and I'm just going to put a lock in the coin door. We'll just do it the same way. Sure. And we'll come back. All right, Adam, the uh, locks are all on. So we've got an Illinois double bit on the coin door and then just a rando lock on the bottom. That's, I think that's the way to go. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you want to help me put the control panel back together? Yeah. Because sure. that's really all that's left to do. Okay. Um, the carriage bolts are pretty dry, and we just got to basically mount everything on here. So let me get the carriage bolts, and we'll go over the table here. Okay. All right, so, well, there's a bolt pattern, right? Right here. Yeah, yeah. Got so it. let's get some of the painted ones. And then I picked up some new uh, lock washers mm -hmm. and nuts. These heads are a little tacky, but I think it's, I don't care. I just want to get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wondering if I could just use my, and yeah, it's still a little, I was going to use this nut driver, but it's too deep. I'm going to yep. take my socket set. <clears throat> So let's see. A little bigger? A little bigger. Smaller. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just bolt this down real quick. Basically eight nuts and lock washers and we'll come back. All right, we're going through right now and we're just uh, taking the wires from the old joystick and putting them on the new joystick and the switches are all pretty much in the same spot so it's pretty hard to screw it up <laughs> we had to um, kind of enlarge only one of the holes on the uh, control panel right right and again someone drilled those holes yeah. and they didn't do a very good and job. And labeled this completely wrong. Right and then they, yeah right <laughs> so on the control panel it says purple but no, it's blue right here. And it says orange. No, it's actually yellow. <laughs> and I looked at the photos um, that I took before I took it apart. And yeah, it's, it's not labeled right. I don't get it. And there's three tabs on each switch, Adam. Right. So it's like normally closed or normally open. Exactly. Is that right? Yeah, and, exactly. and we're using the two outside ones, which is normally open. open. Yep. Meaning that when it's not engaged, it's open. And there's no connection. Yes. Right? Right. And when it's normally closed, it's always closed. And then when you engage it, it opens. Yeah, every single one of these signals go goes to the game board. It has a pull-up resistor. Mm -hmm. And so when you hit a switch, you're grounding it. Okay. Which makes it a zero. That's why there's, you can see the ground is like daisy-chained. They shift yeah. overall, every single one of these switches. Okay. Now, the, now these lights they put in here, mm. except bulbs. So how does this work? Does it have a separate... Uh, for like 12 volts, or how's it? Yeah, right to the here. Oh, I see. But you're not using that, or? No, I'm not. Okay. These are not the right original buttons. Oh, I see. Um, the original buttons that were the one player and two player start are are similar to this in appearance. Right. Um, but these will accept the bulb if we wanted to run. You want to do that someday? Run voltage to yeah. it? What do you think? That'd be sweet. You do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. This is a pretty common um, lighted switch configuration. Okay. Th this part of it. Yeah. Because um, like NBA Fast Break, yep. my pinball machine yep. has a big basketball button on the top. Oh, same style. It's the same exact button, just oh, with see. just the top. The, it's got a little insert or something, right? The visible part is just different. Different, yes. On NBA right. Fast Break, it's a larger button with a basketball. Right. But it's the same guts underneath. I see. And we decided to, to put the dust washers in. Um, I don't know if decided is the right word. I mean, I, I, I put one in accidentally. Right. <laughs> so Adam I mean. Adam did one joystick, and I'm like looking at it, I'm like, hey, wait, you left the dust washer on. Right. I'm like, I didn't want to do that. And then we tested it, and it didn't matter. Right. It actually looks pretty good. It looks better. It covers up the, uh, the hole. So the, the dust washer is not really moving. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. Right. I don't think it restricts it at all. I don't think it does either. Yeah. It looks pretty okay, mm -hmm. right? It's authentic, right? It's, it's, very, it's very authentic. That's the word, right? <laughs> original. <laughs> original and authentic. And, um, and by the way, so like earlier in the video, before you got here, I, I, I uh, 
took apart the joystick and the little part hit me in the face, actually oh. in the eye specifically. <laughs> and you, of course, figured out right away that right. there was no reason for me even to take it apart. All yeah, you gotta do is take, take the, the ball, ball off. off right? <laughs> so with this joystick, you don't have to take the E-clip right. off and get hit in the face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do is take the ball off. Let's take the ball there off. There you go. Alright, so these kind of like just go on here and twist. All right, so let's take a look. What do you think? I think it looks good, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's scratched all hell. <laughs> <laughs> Battle scars. All right, let's plug it in. Cool. Have you? Are you good at Crazy Climber? I, you know, I, I don't think I've ever actually played it in an upright. I think I've played it maybe on MAME, just out of curiosity. Oh, really? But I've never played... Actually, that's true. I'm trying to think if when we went to Fun Spot, if I played it there. I may have played it there. But if it was for, it's just for like one game. All right, let's take a look here. You know what? I really don't mind it. Yeah. It looks so much better than it did before. Yeah. It was all black with these red joysticks. Mm -hmm. Boy, that feels pretty good. I feel that. Yeah, you can't feel it. The dust washer is not moving at all. That's so a that's really like, right? that Yeah, you're controlling yeah, the guy's yeah, arms. Right. You need to be able to do diagonals. Oh, okay. Um, so I know that I posted photos of these joysticks on my Facebook page at John's Arcade yep. and also Instagram and people were making comments that these joysticks suck, um, that the restrictor plate, it's a square shape okay. instead of a circle. Mm -hmm. So it's a little harder to do diagonals. diagonals. So we'll see. And that's, um, is that is that and that's pivotal for this game to be able to do by diagonals? Well, I'm not good enough to tell you that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I think you need to be able to do diagonals. And then this thing gets held on with these. Okay. And then I have some thumb screws. I'm just going to put this in here for now. Make sure it works. Let's turn the game on. So what are the other what are the other bolts that you I see you painted some other ones there? Right here, okay. front. There's actually 3 in the front. Gotcha. And you like discovered a new ROM set? Is that what happened? Yeah, I, I have a the, the ROM set that's in here was not dumped in MAME. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, look at this. How does that work? So somebody somebody put black vinyl. Oh, over this wood. Yeah. Oh. This part should be white. Hmm. And so there's obviously three holes underneath here, right? Oh, so wait, oh, wait a minute. When you got this game, were, the, did, were there bolts in here? No. Oh, okay. Only in the top. Oh. But there's got to be, there's three holes here. One, yeah, I can yeah, feel yeah, it. Yeah, we yeah, got to yeah. pop that out, and then I can use bolts here. I can see the white underneath it. Yeah. Do you want to rip this off? Though? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> because it's the, nobody knows. Yeah. It's supposed because I started peeling it on this side over I here, see, yeah, and I could see that the I could see that the laminate is broken Not only right that, here. Yeah, the whole well, the whole put your finger. Yeah, I know. So I'm gone. just gonna leave it because yeah, it's gonna totally. open a can of worms. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get into an endless loop with this game. Right. <laughs> it need we need to be able. I need to move on, Adam. Right. Is the bottom line, sure. right? <laughs> so like that. Gotcha. So let's make sure the controls work. I'm gonna get my key. So I was gonna. Do you have free play? No. no. Well, I, I don't know if it has by. It might have a factory free play. I don't think it does. But I ordered the high score save kit. Yep. I'm not putting it in though. No. Why? Because I have unique ROMs in my oh, game. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just take a copy of the unique ROMs. No, but I want those. I want to play the unique ROMs. We'll take your unique ROMs and put it on. Can we put it in there? Can we? I, I think I think you probably can. But this is a modified, hacked version of the original ROMs that are readily available in MAME. What ROMs uh, are unique to your game? The CPU, CPU ROMs? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the graphics. So that means there are ROMs on here. Yeah. Because this bypass, this goes in the Z80 socket. Yeah. Which actually, look at Z80 socket. Oh. What they did is they took the Z80 and they put it inside a plastic box. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so for, for security? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they did that. Yeah. And then, and then it goes into this socket right here. Hmm. So whatever, th you put a new Z80 in this socket, and then you plug this into that plastic box thing. Right. And then this replaces all the ROMs in the CPU board, 
but my game has unique ROMs at 7 and 10. Okay. And so they hacked some of those ROMs on the CPU board for the high score save, for the high score save mm -hmm. and for the free play with the tract, right? Mm -hmm. So if I put that in there, I'm going to lose my unique ROMs. Right. I mean, I'm not going to lose them forever, but yeah. the game's going to bypass them and not read them. We should we should be able to figure that out though. Figure out what ROMs or, or what code was changed to give you the free play right in the high score. And it may have nothing to do with your. All right, let's try this out. Go for it. Go for it, John. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, these feel great. Like like seriously. This feels like a brand new game. So you have to do, when you want to move, you have to move both controls, is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. See, the original joysticks were more like this. They had a shorter throw, yeah. and they were real stiff. You can go fast. Bop, 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 bop. This feels like a brand new game. What's the point of the windows? Oh, I, see, if, I was going to say. So when I got the game, by the way, that bird was glitching I'm out. Gonna, I'm in this direction. Right? Oh, go ahead. Try it. I put it on two players. Left, right. I'm not doing this right. Oh, I see. What do you think of the feel? I mean, I know it's probably too early to say. To figure out how to do this. Okay. Yeah, it's clumsy as I all heck. To right. You gotta like go, maybe push both down or okay. both together, and then mm -hmm. your hands need to be in the right oh, position. Boy. <laughs> I don't know how you even move left or right. I know. Listen. Up and down. I'm starting to learn, but. This is, I guess it's just one of those games where you have to really play with it for a while. That I get. And then how do you move right? His hands need to be like that. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Oh, wow. So if you have like one hand on and you get hit, you're fine. So like... There. I'm getting better at this game. These joysticks are honestly ten times better than the ones I had. I like how they feel a lot. So it hits your hand, or if it hits your hand, it makes your leg go. Over. Yeah. But just with that hand. All right. Let's see if I can do that. I see. So like that song right there is unique to my game. It's not in Mame. And it is going to be in Mame now. The Mame devs uh, got the ROM set and they're putting it in the next version of Mame. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. So that's a unique sound that no one's heard before? Yeah. yeah. I was talking to John Exley, though. He said he had a version of the game like this. Okay. But he had never dumped it. What the hell is that? The gorilla. That music's unique, too. Okay. Yep. You like that thing? I don't know. It kind of scares me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like, were they trying to go for a Donkey Kong? This came before thing? Donkey Kong. Oh, really? Yep. No kidding. I think me. Look at the girders. Yeah. I think I think oh, Miyamoto no. ripped these guys off. Really? Oh, no. What? Conspiracy. <laughs> Look at this is Donkey Kong. Yeah, girders and a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! How do you do this? <laughs> you really have to get the rhythm down. Yeah, you do. Totally. It's a rhythm game. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, I gotta spread my arms out. You're getting it. Yeah. So I have yet to make it to the top of the building. There's a little map on the left. I don't know if you're aware. It shows you where you are. Oh, that's cool. There's like a ton of windows, though. How am I going to get over there? Okay. Like that. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, damn it. I'm stuck right now. Go I'm going for it. I'm trying to go for it. Yeah, see, your hands get in this, con oh. they get in this confusing state. Yeah. That's like hard to get out of. Yeah. <laughs> So what do you think of the joysticks? Can you tell? Well, I didn't play it previously. Oh. I can tell just by looking at it that they were the wrong ones. But right. I watched your video. 
the like, fighting joysticks, right? Or, like, uh, yeah, they're like, bat top uh, like Street Fighter yeah. Mortal Kombat joysticks. Right. Uh oh, that? I'm at the top. Are you really? I'm at the top. I did it. <laughs> it's all be yes. <laughs> it's because of the new joysticks. <laughs> Helicopter took me away. Building two, a little bit different. It says Nichi Buchu Leisure. Oh wow! Whoa! What the oh hell? Gosh. Oh, the girders, little girder pieces. Oh down. shit! Who's throwing those? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> That's hard, dude. Holy. They're cow. throwing like dumbbells too. Oh, there you go. So, oh, what the heck? Right. Okay, go to rub. How do you select? Oh. <laughs> I, why am I doing this? It doesn't save scores. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep the high score save with my little piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't... Do you agree, though? I don't, I don't want to lose my ROM set. No, I don't think you want to. But this unique music and stuff. I'm very... Excuse me. I'm very happy with those joysticks. Like, I, I'm ecstatic about it, actually. They look right. They feel good. Yeah, that's a peculiar position. There's a way to like reset if you go like both to the outside or something. There we go. Does that get you in that position? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's a real threat to you right there. All right, you're doing well. Oh, come on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Game over. All right, cool. I feel good about that. So I think I'm going to just um, throw these. I have these little thumb screws here. And I'll just tighten this down. So I'm gonna tighten down these bolts here real yeah, quick yeah, and then we'll come right back. Okay. All right, so uh, control panel's bolted down. I actually need one more bolt. I don't seem to have. Um, and then Adam right now is yanking off the EL wire. It's leaving a lot of residue, isn't it? It is, yeah. I don't know what they use to slap it down. It's serious glue they used. And I'm trying to take my time because I don't want to wreck the... Uh, well, the T-molding is like one of a kind. <laughs> so I wonder if I can heat it up a little bit. Does that help? Like, pull it. Go ahead. Heat up a little bit for okay. All right. Oh, actually, yeah, it does help. It does help? Yeah, it does help. You're actually grabbing a little needle nose. Okay. Yeah, that was the problem I had earlier when I was trying to get the uh, control panel overlay off. <laughs> it was like burning my hand. Right. <laughs> there we go. Is that working? I think so. Although I don't know if it's just, it, but it's leaving the casing of the EL wire behind, right? No, that's glue. You sure? Oh, is that what that is? Oh no, it's both. Oh yeah, you're right. That's some serious glue. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, this will this will rip through easy, but then you've got this residue that we got to try to figure out. How to do. I don't know. What were they thinking? <laughs> it's irritating. I almost went over the exacto knife to kind of trim it flush, get rid of it. Oh. There's some right here. You get that? Yeah. That's just the uh, that's the casing, right? Oh, is it? Yeah, I already took the wire off. So you can get... There you go. Yeah, so you're you're ripping it yeah, out of the casing. the clear casing. <laughs> Boy, th this makes me angry. Whoever did this. Why don't you grab an exacto? Let's see if we can maybe try a different method to get All right. the casing off. So what do you think? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. If you just carefully take your time. There you go. 
Does that help? No, that's actually not bad. Uh -uh. I mean, it's better than leaving it, leaving it there. Just go slow and trim it flush to the... Uh, there you go. This is one of those time-consuming tasks. Hmm. Super irritating. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I guess we're going to go through here and just try to cut it off. This is going to take a little while. <laughs> Be back. All right, Adam, I think we're done. What do you think? I think it's basement worthy. Yes. <laughs> so we took the X-Acto blade and we just kind of went over the edge and removed all the EL wire. Um, it's not perfect. There's some residue here. Yeah. But... You don't want to risk We're going to... Ri we risk ruining it if we yeah. go too crazy with the blade. Right. Um... I, I think it's better than it was. Sure. So, all right. So, Adam, you want to go in the basement? We're, we're going to probably bring this thing down maybe in the next video okay. with the grail, okay. which is right here. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe we'll go to the basement right now and do some viewer mail and hang out. But I feel pretty good about this. Yeah. You know, this is a kind of a down and dirty, not restore, but just kind of fix the wrong stuff sure. video series. Yeah. <laughs> and at risk of making it worse, you know what I mean? Right. Draw the line somewhere. Yeah, exactly. But I feel pretty good about this. It's ugly as all sin, yeah. um, but it's it's the original artwork, and you can see it. And I really do like these joysticks. Mm. And maybe after I get this in the basement, I'll take some Novus. Oh, right, right. And clean this Buff up a little bit. Yeah, because yeah, the Novus, there's like some cigarette burns in the in the plexi yeah. on the surface, and right. I've gotten those out before with Novus. Okay. Like you use like Novus three, two, and then one. Mm -hmm. um, but I can do, always do that later. So, sure. all right, guys, let's go down in the basement. Um, we're done with Crazy Climber. And Adam, thanks for the help. All right, guys. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the grand finale, the final part of the Nichi Butsu Crazy Climber. It's ready for the basement, Adam. Basement worthy. I think it's basement worthy. So the next video, you're gonna be in it. Okay. <laughs> Cause I have a grail. Yes. It's in the garage right now. Yes. Okay. So the next video, Adam's gonna join us. Okay. And we're gonna go to the garage. We're gonna work in the garage. We're gonna get this other game, this other grail yep. ready for the garage. Okay. And then we're gonna bring it down here yep. along with the, the crazy climber that we finished today. Right. And, and we had to kind of figure out the room down here. Make space for a Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. So that, that'll be the next video. So be sure to uh, subscribe, I guess. Sure. If you want to keep yeah. up with this stuff. So, so Adam, you want to do some viewer mail? Yeah, let's do it. Um, and, and by the way, if you guys want to participate in the viewer mail, you got to email them to me at john at johnsarcade.com. John at johnsarcade.com. Uh, first one here. Actually, I got a couple of crazy climber ones. Uh, uh, it says, hi, John. Uh, I just watched your recent video crazy climber that you had purchased recently. When you were pulling off the blanket Ooh. to reveal for everyone, I had noticed something that you were mentioning about the logo on the side of the cabinet. Where it is currently placed on yours is in the wrong position. Ooh. I don't know about that. But you didn't put it there, right? I yeah. didn't put it there. But I've seen it where it's like this, and I've also seen it where it's like that. Okay. It, it's, it's at an angle Angles always. Down or yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it both ways, though. If you start Googling this, you'll notice that it's inconsistent. Okay. Um, if you look closely on the Claw's webpage about Crazy Climber, you can see it, uh, it near the top towards the back of the cabin. If you take a look here on this page, I think... Uh, it might have been a minor detail when this one was being made. I, I too also enjoyed Crazy Climber when it was out in the arcades as well. Do you like Crazy Climber? Uh, well, I, I like it, but it's I don't know. It's like, like I said, the first time that I really played it on, on the actual arcade cabinet, right? In Mame, and it's it's hard, but I, it's one of those games where I think when you get over that learning hurdle, I think it'll be really fun. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah. That's the hope, yeah. right? <laughs> but I was gonna say, like a lot of these pictures that are on Clav, they're just uh, some of them, or not a ton of them, they're just uh, from collectors, right? Yes, and you they can are. Take your picture and stick it on there. So who's to say that that's actually how it was? It could have been exactly how it was in that collector's you know game or whatever. So yeah, those images are basically just uh, collect. Use, use submitted images. User submitted yeah. images that could be of someone's bad restore too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Sure. Um, it's interesting to know that there was a several cabinets uh, that they had used for this game, including the cocktail version of it as well. Yeah, they put Crazy Climber like in, in, in five or six different cabinets. Really? Taito had two versions of it, okay. the upright and the cabaret, mm -hmm. and then Nichibutsu made four versions. Mm. The deluxe version, the standard version, which I have, right. the cocktail, and then a cabaret. So did 
Taito license it from was it Nichi Butsu? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Nichi Butsu is the original manufacturer, the, the developer of the game. Okay. They made their own cabinets in Japan, yeah. which is what mine is. Right. And then in Taito in the US licensed it. licensed it from them. Okay. And then built cabinets in the Chicago area and basically that's the one you usually see is the is the right. Taito one. Okay. Um, although I'm not really a big fan of the cocktail version, they are good for some games and not others. I guess it depends on personal preference of the game that is in the cocktail itself. The interesting thing about Crazy Climber is that I never knew that they made a second one. Yeah, there's a sequel to it, Crazy okay. Climber 2. Mm -hmm. It's a JAMA game. Okay. Uh, and for sure, I'd seen it on YouTube somewhere about a third, and there's a third one, but I was also not looking properly at the same time and had found that they made the same kind of several of the consoles of a better graphical one of the same. <laughs> I think the point that he's trying to make is right. that there's a Wii version. Oh, it's they made really? Crazy Climber for the Wii. Really? Yeah, it's like a, a 3D full full yeah, 3D game. I'm chucking the thing. And I think like so. This, really? Oh my god, you're probably right. <laughs> that would be a fun game to pick up. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so yes, Crazy Climber is still alive. Yeah. I do think it's interesting that that game came out before Donkey Kong. Yeah. And there's some stuff yeah. about it that's Donkey we Kong-ish. That we were looking at the girders. Yeah. And the, and the monkey and all that. Right. All right, next one here is from Richie. Uh, John, I have a, a wide body Mario Brothers that I've been trying to sell. Mm. Okay. It could use a new control panel and T molding, but it is, it is in good working order. I've been asking $800 and I'm not getting any hits at all. Am I asking too much? Right. Thanks, Rich. So let's show a photo of his Mario Brothers right here. All right, Adam. So here's his Mario Brothers wide body. Right. Um, 800 bucks. What do you think? I mean, the control panel's shot. Yeah, so need, you, you needs a new overlay. It, it's eight hundred dollars and it, it needs more work, right? Yes. So if he's looking to get, I don't. When I look at that game, it's like if you if you want eight hundred bucks, maybe take the time to spend twenty bucks or whatever on team molding. Yeah. Right. Because you can see the huge pieces that are kind of yeah. There. And uh, maybe spend a few more on a, on a CPU or just figure out what it would cost to have that work done and just subtract it from your price. Right. You know I mean? But uh -huh. the the thing about Meyer Brothers, the wide body, is I do think it's desirable. Sure. I do think it's rare. Right. I think that what it's going to take to restore store his is not much it's pretty standard stuff right yeah a new overlay new t-molding right right i don't know what the sides look like we can't tell in the photo right. um i'm assuming that the orange is all there and the art and the side art i don't know but i have a hard time judging what these games are worth now i totally do because i'm i'm cheap and i think I've yes seen this in your other videos so when i look at them like you know i wouldn't pay 800 dollars for it you know, but somebody else but might, these you know? games sell for eight yeah a thousand twelve hundred dollars all yeah. the time right you know if i were to sell my marber's wide body it would be at least eight hundred dollars yeah like mine's beautiful yeah it's yeah. all original right. It's got the original overlay on it. Yeah. Like, I would probably be looking for closer to a grand, yeah. I, I, truthfully, right. right? But when you're buying, obviously, you want to be far less. Sure. You know? I don't know. If, if I saw... Okay, in 2017, if I saw a Mario... If I really wanted a Mario Brothers mm -hmm. and I saw a, a project for 600 bucks, yeah. I would probably consider it, honestly. Sure. 800 though, does require a little bit... A lot more Maybe thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Richie, I don't, I don't know if we really have an answer for you, but maybe... Fix what's wrong with it, and, yeah. and and maybe ask a grand, right. and take some really good pictures. Yeah, yeah. Or leave it the w the way it is, and, and maybe ask for six. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's six would probably sell like that. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think yeah. so? I mean, drop it a smidge and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, can you live? Do seven fifty. Yeah, exactly. You know, if Let seven fifty 750 hang out there it, for a couple think, weeks. Yeah. yeah. All right, but but the the thing is though, the point I wanted to make though is that the climate right now for games is all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all over. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all looking for the deals, right? Because who wants to spend more money than you have to? Yeah. And it's right? regional, too. I mean, games like you, you would find, you know, locally for 300 yeah. bucks are almost a grand, you know, on the West Coast. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, if, if you need to have it now, you're always going to overpay, yeah. right? And, like, I personally have, like, a mental list of stuff I would like to have. Yeah. You know, stuff I've thought about throughout the years. Sure. And then all of a sudden, one day, it's on Craigslist for 100 bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've thought about that game before. Now's the time to grab it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, but, but certain games, you know, like the Crazy Climber, again, that was on my mental list forever. Right. Never see it for sale. Right. I, I jumped on it, like, yeah. instantly. Because I know I'm not going to get that opportunity again for a long time. Sure. Um, all right, going on. This one's from Carl. Hey, John, uh, I just watched your recent video, Crazy Climber. Did we already read this one? Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, yes, we did. All right, this is the one. This is from Peter. Hi, John. Congrats on your Crazy Climber pickup. Can't wait to see what the next video will be on the other Grail game. That's happening next. Next video. <laughs> I have some thoughts on your basement layout. 
Good, we're gonna need it. Yeah, we need, we need help. <laughs> Could you revamp your computer area in the corner to free up room for your new arrivals? I was thinking that your Mac setup is, is your dual monitor stand a freestanding or is it bolted or clamped to the desk? So my monitors are all mounted with VESA mounts yeah. and they're bolted to my desk. Okay. Um, you have a large gap space behind your desk that you could free up to make room. Mm. Maybe relocate your printer setup. Hey. Uh, <laughs> and if possible, set up your Mac at your PC area uh, using the other inputs of the monitor so you could switch over them. Uh, the thing is though, I like having two concurrent computers at the same time though. Okay. Well, I guess I could just switch monitor inputs. Right. But I do bounce back and forth between both computers all the time. Okay. Like I, I, go, I go on the PC, I'll edit a video, I'll bounce it, and then I'll go on the Mac and do other stuff. Right. Well, that's like doing stuff. Well, you could do this. I think that's what he's saying is that you could do that, right? With, I mean, by switching yeah, inputs. Switch the inputs. But then you got the keyboards, oh. though. Yeah. I, well, you could do a, what do they have? Uh, what do they call it? KVM switch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do some Maybe even move your Pro Tools and Studio monitors over to the side, or instead just relocate your music equipment, the printer desk. <laughs> <laughs> that could free you up with some additional space. Alternatively, if you were to get rid of another game, I'd probably get rid of 720 or Paperboy. Shame on you. <laughs> so I thought long and hard about like getting rid of, because I got rid of Tempest. Right. And I got rid of Tempest to fund and, yeah, and the other yeah, grail. Yeah, yeah. Not that you really wanted to get rid of it, but it was like if it was something had to go. And the thing is, I don't miss it at all. Yeah. Like not even this much. Really? Yes. Yeah. I, I had Tempest for six, seven years. Yeah. I mean, people were mad at me that I got rid of that. But I've had Tempest forever. Yeah. Like, I've enjoyed it, okay? Sure. And and now it's at another collector's house. Exactly. Someone like someone that we trash, know. You know. Right. I, I didn't I didn't just, like, give it away to some hacky 60-in-1 right. person. Right. <laughs> another local collector that I've known for a very long time has sure. it now. Yeah. So it's in good hands, yeah. and now someone else can enjoy it. Right. And now I have the funds, or had the funds, to purchase the next game. Sure. It's a cycle of life. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Otherwise, I get pretty... Wouldn't you get bored? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. With the same stuff yeah. over and over yeah. and over. Yeah. Anyway, the point is, is that in the next video, you and I are going to figure out how to do that. How to bring. We're laughing because we were thinking about that. Too yes. We were preparing. To so where are we, we, we kind of have pictures? figured it out. In the next video, we're going to figure out a way to bring two more games down here. Yeah. Without getting rid of another game. another game. That's the goal. Right. I don't want to get rid of anything else. I'm at the point now where the choices are too hard. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to check out Adam's YouTube channel, by the way. It's called One Circuit. Uh, YouTube.com slash One Circuit. Adam is an engineer, so his stuff's a lot more technical. You're going to learn a lot of stuff over there. So go to YouTube.com slash One Circuit. Of course, we have to ask you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> about the pole position pole update. Position. So, Adam. Yeah, actually, so I, <laughs> I was just going to say, Adam's making a pole position clone right. board. Yeah. Um, people are always asking about it. I get emails yeah, about it. I'm I sure get you get a lot. Yeah. You obviously should time. get way more than I do. Um, I have people telling me all the time, John. I have a pole position cabinet in my garage. Yeah. I'm just waiting right. for Adam's or board. I just purchased one. It's not working. Yes. I don't care. Right. And they put it in storage, and they're just waiting for the board. So the update is. <laughs> so the update is. Uh, it's really in Clay's hands right now. So Clay, Clay was able to get. Um, you know. Clay Cowgill, by the Clay way. Cowgill. He got some prototypes. Uh, made up for, or um, are in the process of being made up, that he's going to send to me, and we talked about that, yeah. put him on location stuff, so he has one that he's made for himself so that he can work on some things that he needs to work on, um, but at the same time, Clay is a contractor, he's an engineer, and he does work, uh, you know, uh, on a contract basis, and he, he got a, a good contract for the summertime. I see, and so, so he's busy. That's busy, yeah, so that's priority, obviously, uh, that's how he feeds his, you know, his family and everything, and so that's what he's working on now. Um, but we were just touching base the other day, and he says that as that ramp down he should be able to ramp back up into the into the pole position so that's i mean that's that's where we're at i'm, I'm a full-time engineer and so is he and so this is a hobby and we're just trying to right. do what we can right and these guys are doing it in their free time right. so it'll be done when it's done yeah. and hopefully in 2017 yeah i hope so okay yeah <coughs> the prototypes i want right. to be able to get them out okay and, and, and so and i'll be updating you guys and of course uh if you want even more updates go to his channel sure. youtube.com slash one circuit yep. All right, guys, we're done. We'll see you very soon, and Adam, will, again, will be in the next video. Um, and the next video is going to be fun. <laughs> so, all right, guys, uh, thanks for subscribing and commenting and liking and all that good stuff. Tell your friends. I'll see you very soon. And, and by the way, check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders, at videogameoutsiders.com. 
that is a weekly podcast on the Riotcast network at riotcast.com. We do it live on Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. And if you can't make it live, uh, you can download our free app on the iOS store and also Google Play. Just search for Video Game Outsiders. Um, and, you, and, and also, it's just, you can subscribe to that. It, it, by the way, the, the main episodes are free. And then there's bonus content. And if you want that bonus content, it's $1.99 a month. It's a great way to support me and, and our podcast and Michelle and all that stuff. So, all right, guys, I'll see you very soon. Later and bye. Bye.